spent nine months in jail and six months on home detention awaiting trial. But today, he was found not guilty. His political opponent, State Representative Carly Maser, told police he stalked her during her district campaign two years ago. RTV6's Derek Thomas has that story. John Couch was found not guilty of stalking, resisting law enforcement, and forgery. The judge explained his ruling in this 13 page document. Couch was extremely pleased as he left the courtroom. Prosecutors were not. I'm, I, I just don't want to see this affect other victims coming forward. That is my main concern. Obviously, I, I wish this would have been differently. I think it would have been nice for Mrs. Macer to have come out of this with a little bit of a validation. However, as I said, the fact that this is a not guilty is in no way a reflection upon the veracity of these charges or whether or not they were valid. Prosecutors cited seven incidents of what they considered stalking. Five were public events and two were private. One of those public events was a campaign forum at Speedway United Methodist Church. Maser testified that Couch's presence internally terrified her and made her incredibly uncomfortable. He worked at Liberty Tax and obtained some of her family's personal information through his job. In a private incident, he called her on her cell phone in an attempt to set up a campaign debate. Maser said his tone was rude and aggressive, and she eventually hung up. Another public incident was at the barbecue and bourbon restaurant where Maser was having lunch. Couch came in, sat at the bar, which was 10 to 15 feet behind Maser's table. There was no communication between the parties, but the defendant's presence made her uncomfortable, and a friend escorted her to her car. And you weren't stalking her, you weren't harassing her, you weren't intimidating her? No. At all? No. If you were her husband, would you think that the things that you did Oh, we're not uh, no. intimidation. Right? No. Judge Kurt Eisgruber wrote the limited intermittent contacts between the defendant and Representative Maser over the course of the campaign season do not constitute a stalk. When we last talked to Couch, he was on his way to have his home detention device removed. He says he still has political aspirations. Derek Thomas, RTV6. Now, RTV6 reached out to Representative Carly Maser, and she declined to comment on the verdict.